Hi guys, today I'm going to try this Tamiya X19 plus other one as underlying coat. See you after this message. If you like the video or channel, please consider subscribe, like, share or comment. Thank you. Hi everyone, Kick from Kickpla. Um, today I'm going to try doing an experiment with um, applying different underlying coats before I apply my top coat. So I've got four spoons here which I applied at the Tamiya primer. So um, they, they just got primer on and that's it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to apply a Tamiya XF71 but um, on the on each one of them, I'm going to do a, a different underlying coat before I apply the XF71. So on the first one, I have the primer on and then I'm going to apply the XF71 on top. The second one, I'm going to do a gloss black on top before I apply the uh, green XF71. Uh, and I just want to see the effect of it. Um, so that, that's how the sequence of paint I'm going to apply on. Now the third one, uh, I'm going to apply a Tamiya Clear Gloss Coat before I apply the green and again so I'm going to see what effect that will do to it and uh, with just the top clear before before the, the green and the final one which is an interesting one uh, I'm going to apply a Tamiya X19 which is a smoke paint now it's a highly gloss coat and then I'm going to apply the green on top of it. And again, so we can see what the effect of it. So hopefully you get the drift and let's get started. So here we go. So I prepped the uh, four spoons. And so on the right hand side, uh, I've got the spoon with just the primer. And the next one, I've got a gloss black on top and you can see the reflection on it and it's pretty clear and then the next one I've got the Tamiya X19 smoke paint and you can see it's got quite a few bit of reflection on it too it's quite a, a gloss line, uh, paint and then the next one it's got the clear gloss on top and again you can see a clear ref reflection on it compared to the one with just the primer so let's go and do the green color XF71 and see what happens. So here we go, I've applied the green color on top, uh, the XF71. So let's see what the results are. Uh, I actually just painted the top part of the spoon and I leave the bottom part so I know which one is which. Uh, now firstly the one with the, just the primer, you can see it's just, just the paint on top which is uh, because it's a flat paint so it's pretty dulled and it's just the color on top really and nothing special now uh let's look at the one with the black um gloss black underlay and you can see it's still got a little bit of reflection so i guess the gloss black sort of make it a little bit different in terms of reflect uh in terms of shine uh shininess of the surface you can see the the color is a little dull um, when you compare with the one with just the primer, uh, you can see it's the color tone is sort of different, but it does retain a little bit of glossiness on top of it. That's why you've got the, the shining, the, the reflection. Obviously, the color tone changed a little bit. And now the next one is the smoke. And you can see um, down the bottom, it's got the smoke paint on. It's got a little bit of shininess as well. So I guess the glossy surface of the smoke paint sort of make the, the top layer a little bit glossy as well. And when you compare with the the one with just the primer, and again, you can see the color tone is a bit dull, a little bit darker. And finally, it's the gloss paint. And, and you can see it's got a bit of reflection on as well. And quite... In fact, quite a bit too, um, and it's comparable with the other one. And but because there is no darker tone underneath, and you can see the the green sort of appear the same color as the one with just the primer. But compared to the other one, it's definitely a lot brighter. If if I should use that word, so that that shows you a little bit different when you're applying different sort of underlay on your surface. 
and so maybe it's useful for when you when you do your painting next time maybe you want a slightly different effect and things like that <laughs> So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the show and if you like it, please consider like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, otherwise, um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks time. Bye now.